This video is part of my premium course, so if you like it, be sure to check out usefullaravelpackages.com. Okay, let's take a look at this Laravel Suite Alert package. If you're not familiar with Suite Alert, it is a very popular JavaScript library for alerts and pop-up boxes. You can see an example here. So this package allows you to bypass JavaScript completely and just use it directly within Laravel. So if you're just using Suite Alert for basic functionality, it could really clean up your code. So let's take a look at how to use it. So there's a dedicated documentation page somewhere here, right here. So let's follow the installation instructions. It's just compose a require. Okay. And there is a config as well. So we have to add this in our master layout, or in our case, we'll just add it to our welcome blade. So let's go to welcome blade. I have some code in here already. I'll show you in a second what it is. So I'm just going to put it above the body tag and this will import suite alert and make it ready in your views. And you also have to publish the config and the package assets. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, cool. And let's go ahead and just get a suite alert up and running. So you can use facades or you can also use the global helper, which I'll show you. Let's stick with the facades first and let's just do it in our routes file for now. So let's use that and let's just try this, copy that and let's just try it right in here. And that should display an alert in our welcome blade. So let's see if this works. Cool. There it is. And we have a title and a message and that can be changed in here, obviously. So you have all the suite alert options available to you. I think uh, the better page to look at is the demo here with screenshots. And as you see, you can use the global helper if you like, if, or if you don't want to use facades. So let's try this one with the global helper. And this should work. Cool. So now let's take a look at a more practical example. So I have some code here ready for basic CRUD for posts and there's no styling. So this is the index page for listing out all the posts. And then if we go to slash create, so this would usually just go to the edit page, but I only have index and create here. So I have an unstyled form here, but it does work. So if I try my second post, actually, let me try doing this validation as well. So if I don't pass in valid arguments here and there's a validation rule for, it must be at least three characters, then it will just show the errors on this page. There we go. So very basic crud, but now I want to replace these messages. Actually, let me show you the equation first. There's also a message in there, my second post my content here okay and you'll see that it has a flash message here and then you can see my second post here so yeah what we want to do is replace this with a sweet alert oh one more thing i want to show you there's also toast messages here so if you want a less intrusive message here then you can make use of toast so let me just show you that in the welcome View. There's a different bunch of options here too, but let's just try the default one. So if we go back to here, or if we just comment this out, you'll see the toast message here too on the main page. And there it is. Cool. I think there's a default for five seconds. So it's going to disappear by itself after five seconds. And you can change that in the config. Okay, so back to our posts crud here. So the first thing I want to do is replace the message here after we create one. So we create a post successfully, and then it goes back to the index page with that flash message, but I want that to be sweet alert instead. So for that, we have to make use of middleware. So there is an option here if you go to middleware. So it says to add this class to 
app HTTP kernel middleware groups. So let's go ahead and do that. So middleware groups. Oops. App HTTP kernel is what I meant. Okay. And middleware groups is right here. Let's add that. And let's actually take a look at that. So to sweet alert. So you can see it is just looking at the session and it's looking for certain session keys. And if there is one, then it will call sweet alert. And there's also options here for toast messages right here. So that's basically all it's doing. So with that knowledge, we can just change the session key that we're sending when we successfully create a post. So that would be in my post controller. So here's the index, it just displays all. And here is where we store it or create it. So there's the validation rules. And here is where we're redirecting back with the success message. So like I said, it's looking for a session key named success, not success message. So if you just change this to success, then it should work. So I'm changing that to success. And if we go to the view, uh, I don't have any layouts here, I just have straight up view. So this is the create view. Sorry, I meant to go to index. And you can see it is echoing out the success message if it exists here. So now it's called success. So this is not going to run. But if we import sweet alert, then it should detect it and show that message, the success message. So let me just import sweet alert. So it's the same import here. If we had a master layout, we wouldn't have to do this several times, but I don't have a master layout here in this example. Okay, so that should do it. And now this should work with a sweet alert message. So let me just refresh that, say my third post content here. Okay, so let's create this post. And there we go, post was created. And we see the sweet alert message here. Cool. Now if you wanted to use toast notifications, we can just change the session key. So I'll just change it to toast success. And that will change it to a toast notification. So that would be in our post controller. And it's called toast success. And that should work. Let's go to slash create. And this is my fourth post content. Okay. And there we go. Cool. Okay, now for the validation messages. So right now, if we go to the create, so if it fails here in the validation, then it's just going to redirect back with an errors key, E-R-R-O-R-S. And you can see that in the create view here. We're checking if there's errors and the session key is named errors. And then it just goes through them and lists them if there are errors. But if you check the middleware here, it's not looking for, here's all the options for session keys. It's not looking for error, but it's looking for, I mean, it's not looking for errors, but it's looking for error, singular. So what we have to do is use the validator and just pass in this session key manually. So we can pass in whenever we want. We can even pass in, I think there's a toast error here if you want to use that. So let me show you what I mean. So if I go into my post controller and for this validation, I'm not going to use this validate method anymore. I'm just going to use Laravel's validator here. So let me just paste in some code here and it's basically the same thing as this. I'm going to grab these rules and I'm going to put them in here and let's uncomment them. Okay. And let's make sure to import that validator up here. Okay. And now we can check if it fails. And if it does, we can just pass in that session key manually. So right here, let's just check if validator fails, then we can just pass in the key here. So let's return back. Let's say with 
And here is where we can pass the error manually. So we're passing in a key named error because that's what the middleware is looking for. And we can just pass it in. So you can pass in all of them if you want, but I'm just gonna pass in the first one. So I'm gonna use the messages method and then I'm gonna call all on it, which will return an array. And I'm just gonna grab the first one. So that's just an example. And let's just pass in the input if there was input. Okay. And let's not forget to, again, if I had a master layout, we wouldn't have to do this, but I do not. So I'm gonna grab this. Let's go to create.blade. Let's paste that in down here. Okay, so now this should show a toast notification. Not toast, uh, sweet alert. I'll show you toast in a second if there is an error. And it's just gonna show the first error. So there we go, cool. So again, we can just change the session key if you want a toast error. So let's just go in here. Sorry, not in there, in post controller. I believe it's called toast underscore error if we wanted to use toast instead. Okay. And let's try this again. Let me just refresh. Try this again. There we go. Cool. So yeah, if you want to use sweet alert or toast in your Laravel app and you don't require too much customization, definitely check out this package as it can clean up your code.